Nick Cannon's dramatic peaks, hundreds of thousands of acres east of the Mojave Desert in southern Clark County, once again at the center of controversy. Potential development in the area has alarmed Native Americans who consider the land sacred and environmentalists who view it as important to natural habitat. Others see it as land for recreation or development. As 13 Action News reporter Bree Guy explains, some are now pushing to make this area a national monument to permanently protect the land. Conservationists and Native Americans alike are fighting to protect these lands, not just for the devastating ecological and climatological impacts, but to help conserve these ancestral lands that are so important to the Native American tribes in the area. Small trees and green shrubs dot the desert landscape, living in the shadows of rugged peaks and towering rock. They form a mountain the Fort Mojave tribe calls a Viquame or Spirit Mountain. Does a historical tie for all humans, and that should be respected. The mountain serves as the point of creation for the Fort Mojave tribe and a cultural corridor for many surrounding tribes. They say future generations will learn about their history, culture, and significance in this protected space, but they worry about development destroying their connection and identity. People understand the sacred nature of this area, but still developers are trying to develop this area. It's absurd. They say they understand the importance of green energy, but don't believe this area is a good fit. There's space for those. They just don't belong here in sacred areas for our tribal people. We reached out to the company Eolus that is proposing this wind farm project. Wind farms like they like to be both in valleys and in um, on, on mountains. It can be, it kind of depends on what they think is 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 good for them. They good locations have an annual average speed of nine miles per hour for small wind turbines and 13 miles per hour for larger ones. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, higher elevations are generally more favorable for wind resources. Eolus had no comment on the matter at this time. The National Parks Conservation Association can't fathom why this company has come back with a new proposal. This current proposal is the same company that was rejected only three years ago, right? And we would have thought they would have learned the kind of lesson like, hey, this is not the place that you you develop. It's not just that this land is sacred for local tribes. Conservationists say this land has a rich ecosystem worthy of saving. An important step to addressing the impact of climate change and the protection of biodiversity. That protection would protect the natural springs, the ancient Joshua tree forest, rock art, and the habitat for the area's animals like the desert tortoise, bighorn sheep, and golden and bald eagles. Have one foot in California and be within the national park and have the other foot in Nevada and be in an area that could be filled with, you know, 700 foot wind turbines but the wildlife don't know that, right? They move, they move where they need to. People don't, they, they wanna hike on the trail that moves between areas and the cultural landscape, the spiritual landscape, you know, doesn't recognize that type of boundary. Recently, the Nevada Outdoor Business Coalition submitted a letter of support for the Aviquame National Monument. Outdoor recreation has increased dramatically over the past year, and the coalition says this will help with economic growth around the area. Nevadans love their public lands. Um, we view our lands as our natural heritage. Um, we are home to some of the most visually stunning and biologically diverse and frankly culturally significant landscapes. Um, and, and we're so thrilled that this might become one of the newest national monuments in our state. We've shown throughout the state of Nevada and the West that it's possible to do all of these things together. After this several year long fight, Native American tribes want this project to be a success. It never makes sense to me because as Native people, we've had everything taken from us. And it's, you know, we ask for these very small spaces and these things that are so important to our people to keep. And it seems like even that sometimes is impossible. Support for the proposal is still gaining momentum with a big win recently from the Searchlight Town Advisory Board. Eolis, on the other hand, said that they would reach out if anything changes. Reporting, I'm Brigai, 13 Action News.